Okay, so your question was uh, why do some components disappear whenever I go uh, into nested other nested components like this one here? Why did the rest of that kitchen disappear completely instead of just fading away whenever I went into that nested component of the uh, kitchen table? Uh, and why do those chairs disappear whenever I go into the tabletop component? So the answer to that is actually very simple, which I'm glad. I'm sure you're glad to hear. Uh, so if we uh, show some geometry, it's up there in the window, and then model info, and uh, that will pull up a dialog box that looks something like that. And you see in this area we have the settings which you will need to adjust. You can either fade it out uh, or choose to hide it completely. So I find uh, finding it completely easier. And I'll show you a little bit more on that later. Um, so right, you can either make them very light, very dark, uh, playing with the floor there. It's hard to see. So let's go in and we will see if we can affect everything. Yeah, that makes it easier to show. Okay, so we can have it display everything. Uh, not uh, faded out very much at all. So it looks like nothing occurred, really. Or you can set it to fade out almost entirely. Or you can set it to hide completely. So uh, the default there is just about right. Uh, we'll leave hidden on. And uh, you'll see there's a uh, a dark dialog, a, uh, a bounding box is what they call that, around uh, all the visible geometry right now. Uh, see, I want to see a little bit more geometry. I just click right here outside. And now I've gone up a level in my nested component or group, whichever it happens to be, and I see another bounding, a new bounding box, which is bigger, and now it's around the all that new geometry. And I click outside of that one, and there's even more geometry. And uh, keep clicking out, and there is even more geometry. As you see, this model becomes quite complex as we unhide things, we turn layers on. Uh, if you structure your model properly, you can you can navigate quite easily within it. Um, so there you see, uh, that's all the interior and the floors for this model. And uh, we can add some uh, walls. So now as you see, it becomes very hard to see that tabletop, and it, it becomes nearly impossible to work on that tabletop. How in the world can I find that tabletop if all I can see is the model from the outside like this? Uh, well, maybe I could try putting it in x-ray mode and search around for the ge geometry. But maybe I haven't opened this file for uh, six months, and the client wants to take one last look at the tabletop. Well, I don't know what version of the file this is, and if, even if I did know what that is, I don't know uh, exactly where that geometry would be. So how can I ever find what I'm working on? I'm supposed to look at that and find in all of that the correct geometry. So however long that takes, I've now found it, and I need to now have to work on it looking like that, because that's the only way I can see it. That's a terrible way to work in SketchUp. That makes everything much harder than it needs to be. There's a better way to work. So if we get out of X-ray mode again, if, if you use components properly within SketchUp, it becomes very easy 
to hide everything except for what you want to work on, which is a very powerful part of SketchUp. It makes it easy for your computer to spin around and model that in real time. It doesn't have to worry about everything else in the model. It makes it very easy to find and display only what you want. That is only the tabletop. I can go back to the uh, model info dialog box. And I'm going to just show you something else a little bit tricky. Uh, also involved to do with this. They're called similar components. So notice that this box is set to hide everything. It's hiding the rest of the model. It just hid the rest of the kitchen. Okay, well, I clicked the chair. Why didn't it hide the other chair? It hid the tabletop. Why not that other chair? That's because they're the same component. They're similar components, is what SketchUp calls them. And uh, there's a different set of settings dealing with similar components. I can set that to hide them, if that was more convenient for me. Uh, I'm sure there's some case where there would be more uh, efficient to model in. So there's a set for components that don't, that are not similar, that are unique, and a set of uh, those settings for the components that are similar. And uh, that. Uh, pretty much does it. So uh, you can email me at manofskill at gmail.com.